Now another rule of survival, recognizing danger in time to do something about it. Sometimes that recognition can come from the most surprising person. For example, a 10-year-old girl who learned a valuable lesson in science class. It is Christmas break 2004. 10-year-old Tilly Smith is on vacation with her parents and her sister Holly. They have left their home in England to spend the holidays on the coast of Thailand. It's like paradise, like white sand and blue turquoise sea. On the morning of December 26, the family has taken a long walk on the beach, but Tilly notices something is very different about the ocean that day. The water was really, really frothy. It wasn't calm and it wasn't going in and then out. It was just coming in and in and in. As Tilly watches the strange, frothy water, she remembers a lesson in school a few weeks ago about tsunamis and what the ocean does just before one hits. Recognizing the danger, she tries desperately to convince her parents to return to their hotel. She kept saying it bubbles, the water yeah. bubbles. That's what she kept saying, something like that. And it goes round and round. It's the water, she kept saying, didn't she? It's the she? water. It's what happens when there's been an underwater earthquake. And we sort of ignored her and... So it'll be all right, we just carried on walking and then Tilly got more and more hysterical and more um, demanding. She looked, um, she just sat down in the sand, she said, I know what's going to happen, there's going to be a big wave. And I was just like, listen to me, I know I'm right, there is going to be a tsunami. Tilly's mother continues her walk along the beach, but her father is unsettled by Tilly's alarm and agrees to take her back to the hotel. There, he approaches a security guard stationed on the beach. I said, look, you probably think I'm absolutely bonkers, but my daughter's completely convinced there's going to be a tsunami. And then there was a Japanese guy, and tsunami is a Japanese word, so I think he knew, he knew what it was. And then he was like, yeah, there's been an earthquake in Sumatra. I think your daughter's right. The security guard begins waving people out of the sea. Less than 10 minutes after Tilly first noticed the strange frothy water, dozens of hotel guests are now evacuating the beach. Colin Smith waves frantically to his wife, trying to signal her to return. Just as the family steps off the beach to the hotel, a wall of water 30 feet high surges toward the shore. And then the next thing I remember is, is Penny running, screaming, get the kids. And I looked round and the water was just coming out the sea. And this wall of water's coming straight for us. We just screamed, run. And I ran and then I thought I was going to die. And that was probably the most frightened I've ever been in my life. The Smiths just make it onto the second floor when the tsunami smashes into their hotel, crushing everything in its path. Got to the balcony and looked out and saw the devastation of what had happened. It was just amazingly frightening that if you'd been in that, what would have happened to you? The giant tsunami of 2004 killed 230,000 people in Southeast Asia, 5,000 of them in Thailand alone. At Tilly's Hotel, there were several injuries, but not a single death thanks in part to the warnings of a little girl the British press calls the Angel of the Beach. It was later when we sort of went through what happened that, that how lucky we were, because if she hadn't told us, we would have just carried on walking. I'm convinced we would have died. And I was just so glad that we were all safe and together. Tilly was able to take control of a situation when all the grown-ups around her were sort of looking at the ocean and going, huh. Yeah, I love the story of Tilly. This is a story that gives us a lot of hope because if a 10-year-old girl can save hundreds of people from a tsunami with basic information, then certainly we are all capable of that.